Next up, Peter Yan, minus 475. Yes, you heard that right. Minus 475 versus Uriah, the California kid, man, man child, man who has a kid now. Faber is plus 380. Faber came out of retirement and finished Ricky Simon in the first round. But now he has to face a surging bantamweight who has started collecting any name in the division with any notoriety. Uh, Jan is not a big finisher, so this fight will likely find its way to the cards because I also do not see Faber finding a way to finish Jan because his token overhand right is uh, very telegraphed at this point, especially for the younger fighters. Uh, I don't even necessarily think he's going to have the grappling advantage. So if you do have a lean on Faber, him by decision would get you a borderline ridiculous plus money considering he's already plus 380. Yeah, those odds are still the same, and Faber by decision would be plus 567. So if you would like to throw $5 on that you will likely never see again, but who knows, may give you some extra scratch if the American judges want to go for Faber for whatever reason. But honestly, I think Jan should not quite have his way, but should have a clear victory and put another major name uh, on his win in his win column. Mike, how are you feeling about this? Do you think that the returning Faber is back and better than ever? Or do you think that this is the UFC matchmakers trying to make Faber pay for taking out Ricky Simon? Oh, man, I, I just wish that Faber would have stayed retired, especially even after that victory. It would have been nice to retire. I, I don't know why he would take this fight versus Peter Yan. I mean, it's not a good matchup for him. They're very, I think... They're very much similar, uh, in my opinion. I and but Peter Yan's younger and stronger, and um, that to me has better striking. So I think that Peter Yan could easily win a decision here. Uh, most likely going to happen because the veteran is just so hard to put out. But I wouldn't be surprised if Peter Yan uh, TKO KO'd uh, uh, Faber and caught him with something. But I, I really think it would end up being a decision, and they're just uh, making a, a bigger star out of Peter Yan by using Faber here. <laughs> 